Hi, I'm Miss McDonald and I teach AP Biology. And really what we do in AP Biology, it's basically exploring um, biological concepts. We look at an um, organismal level, but we also look at um, all the way up to the population and ecosystem levels. Um, during that time, um, we can study concepts like genetics. We also look at DNA, cells, photosynthesis, cell respiration. We get into natural selection and evolution, and we also discuss some um, ethical issues in this class as well. This class also, this course also contains about 10% of laboratory work. So we do lots of labs in here. Some of the labs that we do are electrophoresis of DNA. Um, that's one of my students, really one of their favorite labs. They, they get into a crime scene and they have to analyze DNA and determine a culprit from uh, DNA strands, which is really interesting. We also look at gene transfer, um, bacterial transformation, where we actually edit genomes of bacteria. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, in this class, I get a lot of times questions about, is AP Biology difficult? Is it a challenging course? Well, anything can be difficult if you don't put in the effort and the amount of time. Um, but, you know, most rewarding things in life are often most challenging. But um, this course can also really provide critical thinking skills, um, data analysis. If anything else, it also provides study skills. Um, and it prepares students for college. Um, even if you're not interested in taking this class for college, uh, or excuse me, if you're not um, taking the, a course, you're not in the science path for college, um, this actually provides an excellent opportunity to earn a college credit because we do have an AP exam at the end of the year. And uh, passing scores on the AP exam can give college credit for students.